Hello, once again, good people of God. May God bless you as you continue watching and listening to me. As you can see, I'm just coming from church. And I decided to make this video because of the news I had from church from the pastor. Maybe this video will help someone. Uh, pastor announced that one of her sister has gone to be with the Lord. Now, immediately she was taught, he was talking, my mind got to one sister. Then after the service, I have to, you know, inquire to know the, the sister. Then I, I come to know that the, my gaze was raised. She was the sister. So I, I felt bad because I knew the sister. She was my classmate in the Bible school. I knew, I knew her when she was healthy. She was healthy. I knew her after the first two years of our, of our class. After some time, she, I, you know, she left. She mixed. Then after, so after she reappeared and there was different because she was sick, I guess. Then, but I am making this video because of what happened. So last month, God put in my heart to go and pray for the sister and tell the sister what God told me. And what and the message I, I had from God is that to tell the sister that that God you know saws all the things she has been going. That God told me to tell her that she will not worry, that she's not going to die, that everything is going to be well. So when I heard the news, as I was about to trying to think if I will talk to the sister or not, then the pastor's wife went and started praying to the sister. Then I, I got encouraged to go also after the pastor's wife prayed and delivered my message. But the point is that when I was telling the sister about my message, in the middle of the message, I looked at her eyes and I found out that she was not believing the message. Maybe because of the sickness. I don't blame her. You know, she she was believing another report. So, from there on, inside my spirit, I know that maybe it just, it's not gonna be a matter of time because from 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 there was unbelief in her mind, and I don't blame because I don't know. But at that point in time, I did not know the kind of sickness. But from the look, I know that that kind of sickness might be a very very serious sickness. But the brother that told me about her, then I asked her what happened. Then he explained that the sickness was brain cancer. Then everything appeared okay. That's the reason why brain cancer is not a, a small sickness. And that's the reason why she was not believing. You know, I like boxing. I like boxing very well. And in boxing, there's what we call heavy weights. We have light weight and other weight. But we that like boxing, uh, we, we like watching heavy weights because heavy weight is where the heavy people come and we expect knockouts. We love knockouts. When we are watching boxing, we, we in heavy weight, anything can happen anytime. So I understand because cancer is a heavy weight sickness. It belongs to a heavy weight sickness. And when it comes to also brain cancer, it's a heavy weight sickness. Kidney disease, all those diseases, they are heavyweight sickness. So I, I could, I, I, you know, I quickly, you know, realize why the sister was not believing because the 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 the, the, the way the sickness she was having was a heavyweight one. So it, it needed strong faith. So what am I saying in essence? I, to make this video just to help someone. This is a heavyweight sickness, and this is a sister. And God gave me the message to give her. And I understand because there's two different things about the message, about, about, what, about what she was experiencing. That is the sickness. That is the fact from the doctor's report. And in her body, the sickness was already showing, killing her, eating her. Then came the message also from God. So it's very, very hard for her to believe. But why I'm making this video 
is to encourage anyone that might have passing such a condition or just such problem. In the teens of this world, we have two reports. You have the one report this side and the other one report. But which report are you believing? You must be report are you believing? In the things of God or the things, there's what we call the fact and also what we call the truth. In this world we are living, for example, if you go to court, the cases in the court has they judge them with the fact, not the truth. Any person who has have the fact win the case. The same thing with in the body in this world, in the same thing apply with the sickness, because the sickness have the fact from the doctor. And the body also is showing weakness from the sickness. So they have the fact, but they are not the truth. So if you agree with the fact, you are going to, the, the fact is going to win. In other, in other words, the truth comes from what you confess. You have to confess what you believe and what you believe have to be in line with the word of God. And the word of God is the truth. So this is where we always having problem. What we are having in our body is the sickness, is the problem, is the things. And those things are killing us if you don't take time. Now come the message from God concerning the truth that is somewhere that we have to bring into this physical world to start operating in us. How do we do it? Then everything run down to which report are you believing? Like I told you, when I brought this report to the sister, in the me in the middle of my message, I find out that the sister was already believing the other fact, and I knew that moment that it was a matter of time. And even Pastor confess it, confirm it today. That when they were with the sister, they have noticed that the sister had already decided to be with the Lord, and there was nothing can they can do. So it depends upon you. Which report are you believing? You might be in this condition because nobody prayed for sickness to come. We call them evil days. It can meet anybody. But it's, it's very good that you are prepared beforehand. That's why we are here to help. That when those things meet you or come to your way, you know how to handle them. You have to know the report you are giving. Which report are you believing? Are you believing the fact? Are you believing the, the truth from come from God? You have to decide the one that you believe. And when you believe the truth, you have to confess. You know, cancer is a heavyweight disease. So that means he talk loud and he act loud. When somebody has such a sickness in the body, it's not a joke. It's not a children's joke. So the noise the cancer is making is not noticed by everybody. So you need to confess more harder, more louder than the cancer. You need to believe more. You need to go to God more personal. Not believing pastor pray for me. Brother pray for me. Those things are good. We join our faith with our faith to help. But you, your own faith needs to be strong in the Lord. Because the cancer comes to kill the person that's having the cancer or the sickness, not the pastor or the person helping. So that's a limit my faith can carry. But your faith is needed in this war. Your confession will be needed. What you believe matters. And when you believe in the report of the Lord, the truth that comes from the world, you have to confess it and believe it and say, that settles it. I know what I'm saying. Because there was a time my son came into this world. I faced this challenge. My wife was gone. In that report from the doctors here in Europe, they have already written my wife out in this life. But there's a report I know. I stand there and told them before time that I, yes, what you are, I thank you for everything you have said. 
I thank you for all your work. I know, but there's one thing I, I have that you don't have. That is the truth. And that truth will remain. I can still remember that after some days, they came with the people, the authority from where I'm living to ask me so that they can remove the life support they gave to my wife so they can send her to where they think. It took them around 30 minutes try to persuade me. I said, no, I have the Holy Ghost. I have the report from the Lord. And they should not do it until God says. And because I was believing, was I perfect that time? No. I was still having my struggling. But that's the truth that I know that time I believe. That my wife was going nowhere. I hold not believe. Against the fact from the doctors. It was days fighting. At the end of the day, what I believe came to pass. My wife is still living today. My child is still doing well. Against all their reports. All their reports. You see, their own, they, they, have, they told me, pop and plan. She's not coming back. Everything damaged. Brain damage, Kidney damage. There's no way of me hoping. They just want me to sign so that they can remove this life support. But I said no. Because God has not told me. Yes, you might have the fact. But I have the truth. At the end of the day. The challenge. I challenged the forces of darkness. And I won. So that is it. So glory be to God. Glory be to God. So this is what I'm trying to encourage you, anyone that is facing such a condition. I don't know the condition you, you might be facing. Maybe such things are happening to your life. I want you to know and to believe the report of the Lord. You with Jesus, you with the word of God, we always come to him. So learn how to be ready for any fight that will come your way. It might come your way because we are living in this world. In this world, just like I say, we might have troubles, but we should not worry because he has already overcome the world. This truth is supposed to be with you before the battle comes. You need to know this because nobody knows tomorrow. So that when the darkness comes to eat up your flesh, you will stand in the word of God. That's why we are here in this world to encourage you. Our work is to encourage you so you can be able to stand in the evil days and win the war. You're supposed to live the fullness of what God has said you are going to live. No force of darkness have the right to cut your life short. They don't have that. No person in this world have the right to work with the devil to cut your life short. If they succeeded, you allow them because you are not been working or being alert beforehand. Learn how to read the word of God and be able to be strong in the word of God so that when the evil days come, you can be able to stand still, stand strong on the word of God. And that our word of God will never disappoint because our God is a man of his word. So that's why I come to you again to encourage you, to encourage you. Even now you are shining, thinking that everything's okay. Learn how to be strong in what God says about you. Learn how to believe on the report of the Lord. For the report of Jesus Christ alone is what is there to help you in times of need. May our sister so rest in peace. I am happy, so, so, sort of for one side that she, she has gone. But I'm also happy that from the little time I know her, I know that she, she lived her life with the Lord. And that's why also it's important. I'm always crying. Which life are you living? If today will be your last day, will, will you, are you sure in your heart that you are going to meet the Lord? 
If you never sure, hmm, be fast enough to decide which camp are you. Be fast to decide. Be fast enough to decide which camp are you. Come to the family of light. Come to the family of light. I am for Jesus. I am preaching Jesus to you. I am not ashamed to bring it, him to you. Because everything that will help you in future is in Christ Jesus. Accept him today. Make straight your ways and come to him. Bible says when you believe in your heart and you confess your belief and say, Jesus Christ, forgive me, he will come and bring you to the family of light and your life will never be the same again. I hope I have blessed someone and I pray for you that all those sickness we are calling, cancer or whatever they call, when God gave me this commission, he showed me about many kinds of sicknesses. And as I command the name of our Lord Jesus Christ one time, all of them melted down. So I am coming against every force of darkness, every kind of sickness that devil will try to throw in your body or even already in your body right now. I command all of them to get out from that body in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I command the forces of darkness that is holding this torment in your life called sickness. I command this right now to cut out in your life in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive your healing in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive it and give him glory. He alone is the one that healed you. Master Jesus that healed you. Praise God. Keep on praising him. Keep on sharing and keep on listening. As God will continue helping me to upload more videos to his glory and for you to receive. And when you help to share, you also preach the gospel. May God bless your day today. May God bless anything you're going to do. Learn how to depend on the word of God. Bless you. See you again. Praise God. Amen.